Do you ever find yourself in need of a healthy lunch, but you don't know where to begin? Well, you are in the right place because that is exactly what I am going to share with you today. So my name is Tiffany and I am so excited that you're here. In this video, we are going to go over one of my favorite recipes, which is the superfood salad in Pampered Chef's salad cutting bowl. So in this little device here, you are able to go ahead and put all of your ingredients in there. Uh, you can see that there is a colander with marks already on there. So you can just throw your veggies in here, prep them in the bowl. There's also some storage containers in the lid. So we've got a container here to store your dressing. So that way your lettuce doesn't get all soggy. And there's other compartments here for various toppings, silverware in the middle. It is perfect for a grab and go lunch. So all this talk about food. Well, let's get started in making it. So let me give you a better view here of the products. So in addition to this superfood salad in the cutting bowl, we are also going to make a basic vinaigrette here in our measure mix and pour. So one of the cool things about this is it has some basic recipes already on there so you can just add your ingredients shake it up and it is ready to go so we've got a simple creamy dressing um, so similar to a caesar and you can add flavors to spice it up if you choose and then there's also a simple vinaigrette um, so this is for a dijon type vinaigrette uh, but you can again add in some flavors such as berries or anything like that to customize it to your liking and fit your needs, which is really cool. So for this superfood salad, as I said, we're gonna make it here in the cutting bowl. So we'll take out our little compartments here. And you can see there is the colander inside the actual storage bowl. And then the underside of this lid doubles as a cutting board. So as I said, you can simply throw your ingredients in, bring it to work with you, and then chop it up fresh so it's ready to enjoy when you are ready to eat it. So a few simple ingredients here that we are gonna just throw in the colander bowl. You need about one cup of spinach. So a nice big handful that we'll throw in there. And then I've got the rest of it already prepped up. So you need about four ounces of cabbage, um, which is about a fourth or so of a head of cabbage. You can use the white or the purple. And then you want half of a bell pepper. So we'll put that in there. And about one cup of cauliflower florets. So if you haven't rinsed this all yet, you definitely want to rinse that now. Um, I have done that already, so we are good to go there. And then once you have it all rinsed, we are going to add in some citrus. So you want three quarters of an orange without the peel to throw in there. That last quarter you wanna set aside and that's gonna go into that vinaigrette dressing that we use. So we have got our produce in here. So we're gonna go back to that lid. Remember I said it doubles as a cutting board and there are some little grooves here. So there's little dents in that colander and those fit into grooves on this cutting board. So we'll get that to line up. And then you're gonna use your chef's knife and we are going to get everything chopped up. So it's super handy since you can do all of the prep right in this bowl. So this salad here is designed to be one serving. Uh, so if it's going to be your main course, it is perfect coming in at about 400 calories. Um, it also makes a great lunch for two people with a side salad. If you wanted to serve up um, some protein or another fruit or vegetable to go along with it, it is going to be great for two people as well. 
All right, so now we are going to rotate it. So there are those little dents. There are four of them total, so you can rotate this about 90 degrees. We'll shake it up a little bit. That way you can shop your produce a different direction. So get that nice chopped versus just the strips if you were to only do it once. And you just keep rotating and doing that until it is chopped into a size of your liking. And then we'll grab our bowl again so we can put it back in there. So you can see we've got it pretty close to a good size. So we're going to give it another little shake here and do one more rotation. You can definitely tell that the pieces are getting smaller, closer to those bite-sized pieces that we're looking for. All right, look at that, looks delicious. All right, so we are going to set that aside here and make our dressing. So if you have a favorite dressing that you want to use, that is perfect. Otherwise, you can make this uh, basic vinaigrette that is gonna pair perfectly with the produce that we have here in the salad. So to make this basic vinaigrette, you will need a third of a cup of olive oil. And we're gonna go ahead and add all of these right into our measure mix and pour. Um, so this recipe is going to make more than what you need for one salad. Uh, this recipe makes about six servings. So you will have some left over and this measure mix and pour is perfect for storing that extra in your fridge to enjoy later. So a third of a cup of olive oil. And of course, we're gonna empty that one out. So we have got another fresh bottle right here. There is that third of a cup. And then you want a quarter of a cup of either white wine vinegar or red wine vinegar. I find the red wine to be a little less tangy, a little bit more mellow than the white, so we're gonna use the red. Um, rice wine vinegar is another great alternative if you want something a little sweeter. And then we'll add in two tablespoons of water. There's one. And then if you want to, you can add in some freshly cracked pepper. Um, I like to do that right on top of the salad fresh, but you can add that to the dressing as well if you prefer. So that is our basic vinaigrette. So we will shake that up to mix it up here. So that is that. For the 
salad, we're gonna add in that quarter orange that I mentioned before, a teaspoon of honey, as well as an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, just to give it that extra little bit of flavor. So if you were to be making this and then bringing to work later, you would want to combine those dressing ingredients in this little compartment so that fits in the lid. That way you don't have to worry about your dressing getting soggy later. So we will go ahead and do that. So for this size, you wanna have two tablespoons of this basic vinaigrette. So we'll add that in the little compartment. And then one teaspoon of honey, and then that eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. So I have got our corn cinnamon here, holiday baking spice that is only available around the holidays. So definitely worth stocking up on when that time is here. Um, any cinnamon will do. And then one teaspoon of honey. So then when using the storage container, you just want to give everything a good shake before you pour it over your salad uh, because the oil and vinegar will separate and we want it to stay nice and mixed up. We will pour that over our salad. Of course, now there's oil on my hand, so it doesn't want to open up very nicely. <laughs> there we go. And then some great toppings for this would be uh, about a quarter cup of chickpeas, which I have drained and rinsed. Um, nuts are another great option, as well as pomegranate seeds. And there we go, it is ready to enjoy. So if you would love to see more videos like this, definitely hit that like, and feel free to reach out to me or your consultant with any questions. Thanks for watching.